really well. I have a video today that is a little different from what I normally do, but it's revealing a side of me that is just huge. Well, it's not that huge actually. Basically, I am a paper chase fanatic. I adore paper chase and it's just any time I pass one, I'm like, can we get to paper chase? And just before Christmas, I bought a load of stuff when I was with Melon and when it put through the till, Melon was like, oh my God, Becca, you're insane. And then, uh, but that's all kind of like put away. But my most recent trip to Paper Chase, I am gonna do a haul for you today. And I actually got the majority of this stuff when I was with JD, um, JD Stone here on YouTube. And we actually were, we actually filmed a video of our haul together. Um, but in the whole move, I've completely lost all the footage. So I'm really sad about that, but I have it for you again today. So I'm gonna refilm that for you now, and I'm really excited, and there's a lot of decorative bits, there's a lot of postcards, and there's just bits and bobs that I just adore. So my homeware inspiration, or one of them, I have many, is Kate from Ghost Parties. Oh my gosh, anytime she just uploads like a snippet of her room on Instagram, I'm like, yes, more please. And I just love her taste. And because it's a mixture of like simplistic and minimalistic, but also like antique and French and vintage. There's just many things, but I also love like some of my Pinterest boards, they're all homeware. Oh my gosh, just love it. So, something that I saw her doing was um, postcards and putting them as like pictures and displays on the wall or just putting them in places as opposed to like sending them away because I want to keep the prettiness. So, I have loads of postcards um so i'm gonna go through those now they're about 60p each but i use i just love them for decorative purposes and for like personalizing things because i'm yet to like print out photos or um that kind of thing so it's just a few little bits and bobs so i'm going to show you all the postcards now oh my god there's loads okay not to worry <laughs> some of them are actually like greetings actual cards as well um which were a little bit more expensive but still like a couple of like a pound or something i don't know but all the postcards are 60p so in no particular order the first one is probably my favorite and it's by bell and boo so um paper chase carries loads of different brands so this is by bell and boo and um i absolutely love this little girl holding her dog and obviously my rupert is my actual baby child um and is my world so i absolutely love it but i love i just love this whole style and obviously i love the colors it just goes with my whole whole house next up i don't know why i got this one but i enjoy it um it <laughs> it is this so it's got a black frame and it says always on it and then there's like gold um dots and then a heart so it's very kate spade-esque or you know harry potter-esque with the always but i just really like that um next a paris postcard loving it next a the hug and a kiss in gold foil print next what a classy woman i don't want this on display in my house because i bought this for a certain person um yeah <laughs> uh this audrey hepburn one i adore her she's beautiful um that's that then i have this uh in love couple running across a bridge in i imagine new york with suitcases they're full of joy they're probably i'm assuming about to run to a nearby starbucks but wait they've just had some fab news they're going to run quickly to get this fab news and then they're going to enjoy their Starbucks and then they're going to embrace and then probably get in a taxi. Then I have this one and this is from the Victoria and Albert Museum shop but obviously from Paper Chase and it's just got three uh, 60s looking ladies on there which I love. Uh, meow do you do. A uh, like sketch of Paris. Um, some macaroons and it says if you insist and um, this one is actually like a birthday card um but i'm gonna put this on my like in my workspace area my office desk um because it says today is your day and every day should be your day like just a bit of a motivation um while i work and this one is another card but it says never ask a girl with winged eyeliner why she's late and i thought that was brilliant so i might put that with my uh, makeup station and then the final three postcards are all Bell and Boo. Um, so again, little girl with her little doggy. 
Um, then a little girl watering some flowers and then a girl picking some flowers. I just love Bella Boo. So next up I have some mugs. So this one is a Christmas mug because it says eat, drink, be merry. But I don't see why not, why you can't eat, drink, be merry always, because I certainly eat, drink, and I'm very happy about it. Um, so this was about six pounds. It's probably on sale now because it um, is like a Christmas one. And then this next one I love. So it's just got a black B on it. And then this is black rim. Oh, ignore my hand, it's just swatches and then smudge everywhere. Um, and this again was six pounds. And I'm not decided yet whether to have that on display like somewhere or um use it as a mug because i'm <laughs> i have so many mugs but i'm i only have hot chocolate i'm not a coffee or tea drinker but i've got mugs just in case next by the way i picked all this stuff up at the paper chase down good street in london it's just off tottenham court road so if you go around the corner of the primark and then just keep 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 walking you'll get to it and it's got like three floors and it's huge and it's insane and it's all of the dreams that have come true so they have a sale area always upstairs, much like they do at Urban Outfitters. And um, this one was half price and then it was again reduced to five pounds. So it was, was 12 pounds and six, now five. And it's just a rose gold um, iPhone case. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. But I can't for the life of me take off my current phone case. I can't get it off. Um, it's a case made one, but I can't, I can't do it because you put it on in two different sections. Um, so I just can't do it. So I'll have to wait for some. That's the curse of living alone. You, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Um, so love that. Guys, I, um, I just had a delivery. <laughs> there are no other words to say, but bloody hell. But <laughs> basically, pugs. You have to clean their, it's so cute, you have to clean their face folds and their little folds with baby wipes every morning and every evening or just like, clean them with um, cotton buds or whatever, but the lady that I got Rupert from, she advised the baby wipe thing, because she's done that for years with her pugs. So I was like, okay, I'll just order some, um, get it cheaper on eBay. They've just arrived, I just popped them over there. There are shit loads of baby wipes, that's all I'm gonna say. There's like, the box is like, huge. When he came, I was like, what is this? Why, why is this here? Like, as in, I haven't ordered anything that could be this big, but oh my God, we are, his face folds are gonna be fresh. So back to my haul. <laughs> I have this candle, um, which again was kind of from like the Christmassy um, area, but um, it's just got gold polka dots and it smells like, oh, like peony and amber. I'm not too sure, but it just smells absolutely gorgeous. And it actually came in a polka dot pot, much like this, which is I'm actually using um, as a pen pot, because it's really nice. Um, and that was about six pounds. And then I've also got this, which is a little, uh, again, Christmas range, um, white plate or dish with a gold stag head on it. And I thought that was really nice. Um, and I, I probably won't use it as like a ring dish, but I'll probably just have it out because it's pretty. Um, and then, so I am a huge list creator. When I first moved in, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know this, but when I first moved in, so I didn't have internet or a telly or any form of anything, um, except like 3D on my phone. And I thought, oh, it's okay. I can just write loads of lists. I can write pl like plan videos because I am a list maker. I have lists for anything that ever comes in my head. So any kind of category I have a list for. So that needs a lot of notebooks. Um, but yeah, sorry, I didn't finish my story. Um, I didn't have any pens in my whole house. In my, the entirety of my house, I didn't have any pens. So it was night time and I was just like, sat in my bed at di dinner, like, like not knowing what to do. Um, but the next morning I went out and got some pens. But anyways, so I've got some notebooks. The first one is this one, and that was at three pounds. It's just a little lined notebook. I love them when they're this size or when they're huge, um, so I can like properly plan and put schedules and stuff. But this one is just white with like um, silver flecked lines. So really beautiful and very my style. And then I have, this actually came in a pack of three for about six pounds, but I actually gave the other one to my sister. The other one was black and gold. The first one is um, white and gold, and uh, they're not lined, so I really enjoy that because you can just kind of like 
do whatever you want, go wild. Um, and the other one was turquoise and gold. So they're quite thin, um, but really handy. And then the final, well, not yet. I've got this little one as well. That was like a pound, Paper Chase Basics. Again, plain paper. And then this one is more of a like, oh, notebook, notebook. Um, and that was four pounds. I just, I just love, like, oh gosh. And then finally from this haul from Paper Chase, I have this um, print. So I am a big art person. I love doing, um, I mean, I started off with the more uh, realistic sketches so they look like photos. Uh, not to blow my own trumpet, I hope that doesn't come across that way, but they were very good. Um, so they look like photographs basically. And some people don't see the point in that kind of art, but I love it. Um, so I did lots of that. And then I went on to just kind of like, I like pen and line at the moment with a bit of watercolour, um, but I saw this and I was like, oh, all of the things. So it's basic. it's called Steel Kiss. And um, I mean, with these and all of the postcards, you could say, Becca, you could have just printed them out. Fair enough, but it's easier when it's just here. Plus it's nice to support the artist's work. So I got this, so it's quite large and it's basically sketches of all the kind of lipsticks that are like in the midst so we've got dior ysl benefit revlon mac tom ford clinique chanel um nars clarins bobby brown paul and joe dolce and gabbana charlotte tilbury it's just beautiful i just love it i thought that that could just go anywhere in my home and look great um so yeah this says uh made with love by www R-O-S-S-H-I-E-R-S -E dot com, so like Ros Shears. <laughs> but I really love it and I just thought it was really, really nice. So that concludes my paper chase haul. Um, I am crazy paper chase lady, that is fine. Whenever I go in there, I just run straight to the, like uh, the postcard areas and I'm just like, postcards. So that is, that is today. I am gonna wrap this up, <laughs> such a Essie button. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, let me know if like any like random shop hauls you'd like to see, cause there are so many things that I just love, but obviously we kind of stick to fashion and beauty, but do let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you next time. Bye.